back to life of a zookeeper in Wisconsin also includes some very cold days. Chris Lewinberg shares the precautions the Henry Vila Zoo is taking for its animals. Oh, don't forget to share. Outside in the cold, the bison is in its element. I'm very cold. we will just leave it like that. Joseph Tarkangelo feels less like the bison. I'm a Florida boy, so I just moved up here um, from Orlando. And, and more like an alligator who wandered into the tundra. And these negative temperatures definitely have us um, a little on edge uh, in regards to making sure that we prepare for these animals. But as the deputy zoo director at Henry Vilas, he and the zookeepers have a responsibility to keep these animals safe. What we have keepers doing today is just taking a look at making sure every animal has proper food, uh, making sure that they have essential water um, to be able to drink and then also we take a look at their warmth so what are we providing for these animals in regards to keeping them warm with these extreme temperatures the bison is built for these cold temps um, a bison's back can be compared to a snow-covered roof and as we see snow on them we know that their bodies are functioning the way that they're supposed to other animals like the polar bear and the camel are happy cold dwellers but that doesn't mean that they don't need some help out there even though their wild counterparts should be able to withstand it um, we also do our due diligence to make sure that that anybody in the zoo that um, isn't able to um, you know hunker down in a den or something like that is given all of the proper tools to make them as comfortable as possible. Even though not everybody can be as warm as the bison, this Floridian says that it's still worth a trip to the zoo. Gives the public an opportunity to, to experience the elements just like the animals would. I'm Chris Lewinberg, WISC News 3. The zoo is open to the public during the cold weather. They just ask that visitors stay safe and think ahead. You know he's loving that from Florida, right? <laughs> well, we really don't recommend it.